Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella and I am a senior at the University of Wisconsin Mountain studying actuarial science. Today, I wanna to have a casual conversation about which courses you should take in high school and college if you wanna become an actuary. I'll also mention which majors and minors pair well with an actuarial science major, or if you're not completely sure about becoming an actuary, which majors you can pursue in case you end up pursuing it later in life. As an actuary, you will interact with many different areas of a business. You will need to know information about how accounting works, how finances work. So it's only fitting that I would recommend taking courses in finance and accounting so that you are familiar with how an actuary's decisions are going to affect a company's balance sheet. It's also important to understand how a company is valued monetarily and how fluctuations in the interest rate can greatly affect a company's success. Given that most actuaries work at insurance companies I would also recommend taking a course in risk management if possible because a lot of what actuaries do and a lot of the math that they do is to try and reduce a company's risk by accurately predicting the amount of claims and losses that the company will experience in future years. In terms of math courses, I would highly, highly recommend taking a statistics class or actually multiple statistics classes. A lot of an actuary's work revolves around statistics and probability and being able to fit a statistical distribution to historical data experience. So for example, if in the past five years, you know the amount of losses that the company you work for has suffered. You could, knowing statistics, fit a certain distribution, such as a Poisson model or a Gamma model, to the historical data. And then using that statistical model, in the future, you could help the company to predict the losses that they will experience. Likewise, another really important topic for actuaries to know is calculus. For the first two actuarial exams that actuaries take, which are exam FM and exam P, double integrals and derivatives do tend to come up and actuaries need to know how to solve these types of problems. In my educational history, I've taken Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3, but I really think you only need to know up to Calculus 2 in order to be prepared for the actuarial exams. The next course that I would recommend you to take is Economics both microeconomics and macroeconomics. It is very important for actuaries to understand how the insurance market works. So how all of the different insurance companies like Allstate, State Farm are interacting with each other and also how the demand and supply of insurance works. Why insurance prices go up some years, why it goes down other years, things like that. An interesting thing that I learned from my economics class and from one of my risk management classes was about an individual's utility. So how much do they value having in insurance. Some people are very risk averse, meaning they do not like risk. They like to be very sure and very safe. And so when it comes to pricing insurance as an actuary, it's important to understand how the price that you set is going to impact your customers because some people might be willing to pay that price while others are not. In high school and college, I would also highly recommend taking coding classes such as computer science, data science, or machine learning classes because a lot of the work that actuaries do actually does use coding. You can check out my previous video about the types of programming languages that actuaries most often use if you're interested to hear more. But for the purpose of this video, I would suggest taking classes in either there are Studio, Python, SQL, or VBA. Now, if you're in college, you can even take some actual science specific courses. For example, at my school, I can take specific actual science courses about the theory of interest and loss models, which really shows the specific work that actuaries do. So if your schools offer a specific actual science course, I definitely recommend taking that so you can get a feel for the type of work that actuaries do. Last but not least, the course that I would recommend taking to become a future actuary is public speaking or a communications class. Yes, a lot of the work that actuaries do is on the computer and they do a lot of math on their own, but actuaries also need to know how to communicate their results and their findings to not only their team, but maybe to their supervisors, to other departments in the company. And if you're a consulting actuary, even to outside clients and being able to explain your results in an easy to understand way. A lot of terms that actuaries use are insurance jargon. So a lot of the terms that actuaries use might not be understood by people who don't work for insurance companies. Overall, if I could only pick three courses from all the different topics that I mentioned in this video, I would probably choose calculus, statistics, and 
a coding class. These are probably the most foundational in terms of actuarial work and will really allow you to understand the type of work that actuaries do. However, I'd highly recommend also taking classes not specifically related to actuarial science or business at all. Take some courses during college and high school if you feel inclined that just naturally interest you, such as courses like dance or psychology. I think that being well-rounded, not only in the business sphere, but also in the life and you know, communication sphere can really make you stand out as an actuary. Many actuaries can do the math, but not all of them have a robust knowledge about the world and different fields that interest them. And I think that you can really use that to advantage when applying for jobs. Last but not least, if you are unsure about becoming an actuary or if you haven't fully decided if you want to become an actuary, you can always major in the relevant courses like computer science, data science, finance, accounting. And then later on, if you graduate and you decide you want to become an actuary, you can still do that by passing the exams. Anyways, I hope this video helped any aspiring actuaries out there and definitely let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions that you might have and I will be sure to respond. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video next year. Bye!